So I need to have this equal to zero. Okay, so now I want to reshuffle terms around a little bit to figure out what is the number of producers that comes out of this. So you can rewrite this as n alpha minus 1 is equal to w times 1 plus tau of theta uh, divided by a alpha. Okay, um, so now alpha minus 1 it's a negative exponent, so it's simpler to flip the both sides of the equation to, to deal with positive exponent. So we get that n1 minus alpha here I flip the left hand side of the equation is equal to a times alpha divided by w times 1 plus tau of theta. Okay, and then what I'm interested in is actually the number of producers. So I get that n is equal to a alpha divided by w times 1 plus tau of theta. And then, uh, of course, I have to make an exponent here of 1 over 1 minus alpha. Uh, so I've basically exponentiated both sides of the equation by 1 over 1 minus alpha, which here gives me a 1 on the left hand side and 1 over 1 minus alpha. Again. So this is telling us the number of um, producers that bring the derivative of the profit function to zero, so that's the point where profits are maximized, so that's where the firm would be. Um, so this is telling us the number of um, producers that allow the firm to maximize profits. Um, it's often easier to think in terms of employment, so what I can do is I can multiply um, the right hand side and the left hand side, so here I can multiply this by Can multiply this by 1 plus tau of theta and I can also multiply this by 1 plus tau of theta. Okay, so I'm allowed to do that. Uh, so what do I get? Uh, so here I've just multiplied both sides by this. So 1 plus tau of theta times L, that's just L, the number of workers that are employed by the firm. Uh, so here I have a 1 uh, plus tau of theta. I need to bring it inside uh, the big square bracket, and you can always do that. So what I can do is get this. The exponent here is not going to change, 1 over 1 minus alpha. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I can have a alpha and here I have a 1 plus tau of theta to the power of 1 minus alpha and here I have w times 1 plus tau of theta okay so how do I how do I do that well it's because um, once you take that 1 plus tau of theta to the power of 1 minus alpha out you have to exponentially by 1 over 1 minus alpha and that will just give you a 1 plus tau of theta so I did that just to uh, just to be able to bring it inside uh, the parenthesis. And then now let me just uh, simplify everything. You can see I have a 1 plus tau of theta here that I can eliminate. And then I can just eliminate the 1 here. I, I eliminate the 1 plus tau of theta in the numerator and in the denominator. Okay, and then once you do that, you can rewrite L as a alpha one over one minus alpha here. Here I have a W, and here I had a one plus tau of theta minus alpha that was in the uh, numerator. I can bring it in the denominator as one plus tau of theta to the power of alpha. Okay. Uh, all right, so that was a bit of work, but now at long last, I have uh, I have the number of uh, workers that the firm wants to hire. Okay, so I have my labor demand. So uh, I can it's a labor demand, so I can put a little um, a superscript D, 
And you can see what are the variables that are involved here. Uh, I have theta, of course, and I also have uh, w. Okay? Uh, this is a very important method. Let me flag it. Okay, so this is a uh, really important result that we have. That's the expression for the level dimension. 